Fifth grade, lesson 92. This is on dividing by two digit numbers. Now, this is somewhat of a review, although it's not. Um, because the two digit numbers that we were dividing by were multiples of 10, meaning this. Okay? For example, we were doing 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 right here. Yes. Now you're just learning regular numbers, not multiples of 10. Okay? But you're not just dividing by one number, you're dividing by two digit numbers. So that's why this one's called dividing by two digit numbers. This okay. lesson's called that. Okay? So let's ask ourselves when we look at this will 12 go into 1? Um, no. No, so that's out It'll of the It will go into 15, though. It will go into 15, okay? This whole part, right? So how many time, how many 12s would you need before going over? One. You would just need one, okay? Would I put my one here or here? Uh, at, on the five. Why? Because it covers the whole place. Excellent job. Okay, we don't want to just put it over here because we're not working with just one. Good job saying that, okay? We want it over the 15 because that covers all of it. Very good. Okay, so 12 times 1, let's do our divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Okay, 12 times 1 is? Um, 12. 12. We subtract, we divide and multiply, three. Down, and subtract, 3, and bring down, 0. And then okay, 30. Now this is our new number. 12, how many times? Twice, Twice. would be? Let's try it. 24. 12 times 2 would be 24. You think you could go one more 12 without going Maybe. Over? Okay, then 12. Well, let's add 24, 24, then 10 more would be 34. 34. No. So we already went over. So that won't work. Okay, no, then So you say we're going to use 2. Okay? And so 12 times 2 is 24. And we subtract and we get a 6. Okay? Am I and done? And then it's 6 over 12. Very good. Because I'm done with part, this part is over, it's done. And I have my 6. So I'm going to put 6 twelfths. Will that reduce? Yes. Yes. Think high. What number will go into both six, six. and Six. Very good. Good job. So we're going to divide by six, divide by six to reduce the six twelfths. Six divided by six is um, one. One. Twelve divided by six is two. two. So the answer is twelve and a half. Final answer. Yes. Got it? Mm hmm All right. One more and then you're done. This one was a pretty quick lesson. All right. I want you to do this one on your own. On my paper? Uh-huh. Okay. There you go. 32. 987 divided by 32. 987. Okay. 32, right? Uh-huh. I'll let you work on that for a minute. Okay. So let's look at this together. I'll let you do it. You don't actually have to work it on your paper unless you just want to. We can just work it up 64. here. 64. Wait. Okay. 64 is 32 then plus 32. Then another 30. Well, just do it over here on the side of your paper. How many 32s can we get as close without going over 98, right? So 32 and 32 is 64. Let's do one more 32. This would be 6, 7, 8, 9. What? Yeah, you're right. So Okay, then that's just three. Okay. Could three you add another one, you think? No. No. So how many 32s can we have without going over? Uh, three. Three. One, two, three. Okay, good. So we we're looking at 32. How many 32s were going to 98? We said three. Okay, and that eight equaled 96. Good. Finish out working it. Okay, now I just have to reduce it. I'm already to Okay. It. So we got two left over, bring down the seven. And that's Will zero. 32 go into 27? Zero. No, but you have to have something over this spot. Zero. Zero. Zero times 32 is zero. We'd have 27 left over. What well, goes into both 27 and 32? Hmm. I don't believe anything. Three, would three go into 32? No. Can the denominator be bigger than the whole number? No, it shouldn't ever be. But it is. No, 27 over 32. 32. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, that's okay. Because remember, 32 is right here. That's fine. Okay. Okay? So the final answer, let me check the book. Yep. 30 and 27 over 32. Okay. Good job.
Okay, that is lesson 92.